Lebetkin always had a very strong sense of movement in architecture. Um, he was absolutely against buildings being presented as something that were absolutely sort of fixed and static. But if you look at any of his um, work, and you can see that preoccupation working itself out in, for example, the treatment of the facades, the way the windows are, are sort of placed in various patterns and so forth to, as it were, give an impression of movement across the facade. He developed this idea that architecture was a social art and was a key instrument in the development of social betterment or social progress. Naturally, any staircase is a sort of machine to climb up or down, but in the best Beaux-Arts tradition, it is also a display, it is a dance. That was his interpretation of the staircase, much more than just a machine to climb up and down. And I think the most accomplished example of that has to be Bevin Court. <laughs> Uh, now, the Transport and General Workers Union had been founded in uh, 1922 by Ernest Bevan. Uh, he brought it together uh, as a, mainly at that time, a union of dock workers. Uh, Ernest Bevan took the initiative in bringing them together in what was really a new idea at the time, a general union, a union that all were because all unskilled workers there, which was far more them than there are today, uh, people who didn't have a particular uh, craft uh, but had, were general labourers. And so he brought them together and Ernest Bevan was seen as a pioneer uh, of this. And he built the Transport and General Workers Union up so that to the point where it was the biggest trade union in the country. This is a replica of a bronze bust of Ernest Bevan, the Labour politician, uh, who was in an alcove in Bevan Court. It's named after him. Um, the original statue, as I said, was bronze. And what we did to, to replicate it is we took a series of images, over a hundred images, of the bust from every angle. We then took that data and we used it to, first of all, initially create a 3D model of the form. One of the main problems with the, with the painting is that um, the flat roof above it is a concrete slab um, and over time uh, water has worked its way into the building and been leaks through the roof and around the, um, the ceiling lines up there and at various times water has even poured down the surface of the painting. Uh, all of that leads to um, the issues that you see here with flaking paint. The idea is to try to take it back to that sort of naturally worn look but as a conserved whole unified piece. Thank you.